Josh is climbing up a steep that has 31 degrees of slope and is moving at steady 0.60 meters per second along the ground. We can see this in the figure. And we want to know how many meters of elevation does he gain in one minute of climb. And we have to express the answer, express the elevation in meters, that's the appropriate units. You can see that I have the word steady in orange because steady means acceleration is zero. So this is a keyword in the problem. Also, how many meters of elevation is in orange because this is what we are searching for. One minute is in yellow because this is also a key element of information for our problem. From the picture, we see that the man is walking parallel to the surface of the steep. So he has a velocity, a constant velocity, in the same a direction parallel with the steep surface. We can imagine for a moment as if he were walking in a straight line. You see that nothing changed. The velocity with respect to the steep surface is parallel. So he's walking in a straight line with a constant velocity of 0.6 meters per second. You see the magnitude is 0.6 meters per second. And from this point, if we want to know how far he went in 60 seconds, we're going to apply the kinematic equation for delta x, the displacement in x. For example, we assume that the steep, the steep surface is x. We assume that. So delta x is 1 half acceleration t squared plus b velocity times time. But we know that from the problem that the acceleration is zero because it's a steady, steady velocity. Remember that was in orange. Now, from the kinematic equation, we know that displacement along the surface of the steep is velocity times time. We see that delta x is 0.6 meters per second times 60 seconds because one minute has 60 seconds. Seconds with seconds cancel out, and when we multiply 0.6 by 60, we get 36 meters. So the man is going to travel 36 meters along the surface of the steep. But in the problem, they want us to know the height. We don't, they don't want how far he went along the steep. So you see that delta x in this picture is in red. It's 36 meters along the, the x. Now I'm going to put the same displacement that it actually is like this. The man actually went up in an angle of 31 degrees. So 36 meters in red. And we want to know uh, from trigonometry how high he went. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. <clears throat> we have that the man traveled uh, 36 meters along the steep and the, hypo the, the h is the altitude. In this picture, the blue h, capital H, is altitude and delta x is the hypotenuse. So I say sine of 31 is equal to the altitude over the hypotenuse of delta x. So from this picture, we see that h is the altitude and uh, the blue h there is altitude and delta x is the hypotenuse that we calculate that to be 36 meters. So we say sine of 31 is going to be the altitude over delta x, that is the hypotenuse, is what we have here. Sine of 31 is h over 36. So I multiply by 36 and I have 36. Sine of 31 is equal to h. And when I calculate, I get that the altitude he traveled um, in 60 seconds was 18.5 meters. And this is what we are searching for.